So there's a lot of myths out there. So my job is to pierce the myths. And I'm happy to say it's working. And I'm going to offer you tools to help get this word out. Because in chapter seven of my book, I describe muscling the media, how documentaries and, and news reports and books and articles have been squashed because of threats from, the, from Monsanto's attorneys or others, and how there really is a concentration of media, media ownership that was diverting the attention away from these issues. So that's why I wrote the book. And I'm happy to say it's become a, a book that's shaping policy around the world. It's being translated into six languages. It's the best-selling book on the topic. And you can also sign up for my free electronic newsletter. I just created a video. It'll be out this month. It interviews a lot of the scientists around the world. And the first of the two videos is aimed at taking GM foods out of school meals. Yeah, kids are most at risk for sure. I also recommend getting on an email list with regular news updates. There's two sites that do that well. Uh, one is uh, GM Watch. It's a British one. It's beautiful. You can take it weekly or daily. I think it's gmwatch.org. The other is thecampaign.org. It's the campaign to label genetically engineered foods. I strongly recommend that you get on one of these two, and my own as well, um, because uh, you know you hear it today, and then as the days pass, it becomes less and less, and then it goes away. And this is not something that we, we can allow that to happen, because we're making changes not just for this generation, but potentially for all future generations, because we're giving pollution with legs. We're giving, we're giving this transgenic pollution that self-replicates. Imagine being said, told, hired by a new boss, saying, you're an environmentally kind of person, minded person. We'd like uh, you to do a little project for us. We'd like you to recall our genetically modified salmon from the ocean or mosquitoes, which are planned for release. Or the pollen, which has contaminated Mexico's indigenous corn varieties. It's not possible. At least we don't know today how to do it. And yet we're putting these, in, in for putting these crops out. We're feeding the products of an infant science to millions of people and releasing them into the environment where they can never be recalled. The genetic engineering science is based on theories that were popular 40 years ago, but have been overturned. One professor said to the class as he introduced me at the University of Texas, everything we knew about genetics 10 years ago is wrong. Everything we know today about genetics will be considered wrong in 10 years. And we're manipulating the DNA and putting it out there. So that's why I chose to focus on this, because I see on a triage, what do we have to handle first? This is one of the things that cannot wait. So I'd like to recommend that you take steps to avoid eating these foods and to share this information with others. And I have a program if you want to buy my book. It's cheaper by the half dozen. <laughs> And this is something which has been very popular because people realize they take a level of empowerment to actually help get the word out. It's cheaper by the case. I'll send you a train load. <laughs> <laughs> We're just trying to pump out the information to break through what's been basically a blackout by the US media. And as you can tell from the information I presented so far, it's very serious and it demands immediate attention. And I'm really grateful for this forum to allow me to present it. Thank you.